In this video, we'll be talking about the best way to Evo Sapphire Jeremy Sohan in NBA 2K23. So if you want to do that, stick with us. So we have Jeremy here looking absolutely amazing with a nice little Sapphire. I mean, some beautiful card art, if we're being honest. But you can see we have uh, 25 points and five steals as his Evo requirement. Um, we actually get some pretty good boosts here. We get up plus three in midi and three point shot, um, plus nine in the free throw, boost in the ball handle, offensive rebound, interior, perimeter, lateral, all that sort of stuff. Great Evo. But what happens is steals are pretty hard to get and with every single one of these evos you're going to be having to do more and more steals so once you're ruby you have to increase that to even more steals i think it's actually 10 and then 50 points and then once you're going from amethyst all the way up to diamond which i did myself 100 points and 25 or 20 steals not 25 20 steals so in total you have to get 35 steals for sohan uh 5 10 and then 20 uh it, it, it's quite a bit of steals for some people and then for points it's actually not too bad 25 50 and then 100 is 175 points um it's not too bad and that'll be the easier thing that we'll talk about um for this so there's one specific game mode that i uh recommend and where i kind of recommend you running him uh so what i did for sohan to get a lot of these steals is i ran him at his small forward position not his power forward just because the matchups work a little bit better um so essentially all i did was this is run him like this and if you have the ability to what can help as well especially at these lower levels is picking up um a coach that boots defense it's not going to be uh, amazing if you only have a plus one like this but if you have uh greg popovich from domination or anything like that it can definitely help uh because if you look it'll actually add some uh perimeter defense some things like that and i think if you actually get some High level coach is actually pretty good uh but i'm still running oh i'm still running like malone who has defense as well i'm tripping uh so you get some uh, pretty decent boost for, uh, for some of those cards um it can actually help out a lot but the thing that i recommend or the game mode that i recommend for both points and steals and we'll cover points first is going to be right here in clutch time single player because you can see at tier one it is only semi pro so you can head in uh, with sohan even at you know his sapphire tier that we are here and we're at 10 wins at semi pro which is basically rookie in 2k23 it's not called rookie anymore it's called semi pro i don't really know why um but it goes semi pro pro all-star i'm pretty sure then superstar or something like that um rough uh i guess thinking about it so basically you're gonna want to load into the game you can have whatever defensive settings that you want we can want to go over here to offensive settings and then change the freelance just to the bucks 2018 now there's a bunch of plays you can run like quick 21 uh, which will give the uh, the shooting guard or whoever you want to shoot to run around some screens or you can also run a play these are both in the warriors playbook by the way quick 32 horns um, and then select so handy the guy that shoots at uh, really it's, it's up to you on what you want to do uh, but it all works either way run that bucks 2018 freelance it's going to be the thing that helps you out the most and then you're just going to head over and uh miss the jump ball with thomas bryant which is actually good for going for steals but we aren't going for that right now that's gonna be the second half of the video we're just going for points so you're basically just going to get the board with sohan and what i was just trying to do was run around and then just give him some nice and easy catch and shoots because we're on semi pro Ooh, that wasn't uh too open we're on semi pro so we really don't have to worry too much and if, obviously if you get steals you're basically getting a guaranteed two points um just from that but also if i notice that i'm getting a test i'll just do this and just run out at a crazy outlet and then boom three points we're on basically rookie uh this is seriously one of the easiest things that uh you can do in the game right here and we'll just kind of pressure up a little bit keep this game quick um and go through it and desmond desmond bain will be stopping that one and i'll pass this one quickly into mike conley you can see we have him open in the corner right there and then boom catch and shoots i mean this is literally so easy once you get that release down it can really help and if you're struggling the time is released good slow but slow head over to options go over to controller settings and then right here with your shot timing release time you can actually change this to early it'll make it so you can release the jumper a little bit faster and very early means you can release that jumper insanely faster and i'll show you an example uh right here you just saw us using his jumper on uh the early timing and i'll show you how fast it is on this very quick timing or very early timing uh so conley's got that and <laughs> that you gotta be careful about not running the uh, highest level of players um then throwing out of bounds but we just saw what it was like on quick and i'll or early and i'll show you what it's like on very quick i'm just gonna let them score obviously because i've finished this evo so let's get that contest right there boom we can uh get the board i'm gonna pass this one to boncaro just to say that i did and then we can throw it back to Sohan and boom, look at how quick that jumper is compared to the early. It is crazy uh, what you can do with him. Uh, it's just honestly insane. So now we can kind of get into the nitty gritty with the steals. So with steals, this one's a little bit more difficult. And I have a bunch of clips that I'll be putting up on the screen while I'm doing this. So you guys can kind of just see 
what I'm what I was doing in game while I'm talking about it. So steals are a pretty difficult one and I'm going to do a more in-depth video on them. But essentially what you're going to be trying to do with steals is running a full court press or a, a full court trap or a half court trap. Now the full court trap is just because you can get easy little bump steals uh, with anybody that's going to be happening and hopefully it'll be Jeremy in this case if you're just trying to get them. Uh, but I prefer to actually do a half court trap and wait for them at the half court line and it is some timing involved so you want to make sure you're a decent bit of space away from the guy with the ball in his hands and you're going to start at the side that he doesn't have the ball in his hands and then you're going to cross across his body and when you're decently far away you want to hit square so that you're lunging and just kind of bump stealing it you don't want to walk up to them and then hit square try to go for the steal knock it out of his hands it's not exactly going to work the greatest way doing it that way you're going to want to make sure you have a decent bit of space so they're almost at the half court line and you are slightly on the other side of it holding that r2 running across and just bump stealing it what also is great about running a half court trap as you'll see in some of these clips he will cross the half court line they'll go into l2 or they'll just be getting a bump animation on the other defender and you can just run right through with sohan in this example and then boom easy bump steals every single time and essentially with this one you really don't have to press square to get a lot of these bump steals if they're bumping into the other defender you can actually just kind of walk by and the ball will just kind of bounce off your foot your knee your leg whatever it is your arm sometimes it doesn't matter and then you can pick it up and have a much 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 easier time with this or other times if they're getting a bump animation and you just want to make sure that you're going to get this steal you can run up hit square and kind of just like knock it out of their hands and that's kind of like the nitty gritty i guess more basic way of getting these steals it again it is super difficult i'm not gonna lie to you guys this year getting steals is way more difficult than it was last year by far so just try to stay calm stay tilt stay untilted if you get pissed off at this i can promise you you won't get steals your ability at 2k is always worse when you're mad so just try to stay calm but i know that's easier said than done All right, now there's one more thing that I forgot to mention when it comes to clutch time and why this is better, and it's because it works exactly like triple threat. Now you can see I just won my 10th game, so now I'm in the pro category, so it's not gonna be as easy to hit some of these shots. And if you're not in the pro category, then you should head over uh, to some of these challenges sections like the spotlight ones and just keep replaying this level one Giannis on the Dekumbo one because it is semi-pro every single time. There's no restrictions. You can run anybody you want. It's just sometimes you have to go against Giannis with the boards. That's a little bit difficult, but it works just like triple threat. In in the sense that the worst cards you run the worst cards the opponents run so you can run gold 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 and then just run jeremy or whatever cards you're trying to evo and you will go against gold 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 maybe one amethyst or something like that you know just a random card um that'll make it so much easier to go against a lot of these you know teams that you're playing against and it's generally pretty easy honestly so that's just a uh, general tip if you don't really care about that and you're just going to play anybody that you want to or you just want to run a really good playmaker just beware the better cards you run aside from the guy you're evoing the better you're gonna play so let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below like comment and subscribe as well all that wonderful stuff i will be putting out a uh, evo video on paulo and jalen Dern as well right after this and as well as a steals video in general maybe a little bit more in depth so let me know what you guys think about those down in the comments hope you've great your day and i will see you in the next video